much earlier than expected. Let's get straight to Josh Raymond, Strategist, City Index. Uh, morning to you, Josh. Does this, uh, from what, what we heard from the Fed, change your investment strategy at all? Uh, not in the short term, but it is certainly one of those warning signs we need to keep an eye on, certainly. I mean, liquidity from central banks, global central banks, mostly obviously the Fed too, is a key element that's supporting the markets and keeping risk appetite strong. And obviously, if they start turning the taps off, then that's going to have an impact on the market and an impact on risk appetite too. So it's one of those things you need to keep an eye on, certainly in the next six months, to see what the level of communication is and whether the sentiment is starting to change in the Fed. Although I wouldn't get too uh, worried about just see what they've come out in the minutes this time around, but I would start to pay more attention to it over the coming months. I mean, having said that, 10-year yields up near 2%, um, the dollar is up as well. We, we are clearly seeing an impact in the market. Yeah, you're seeing the impact in the market now, but in terms of risk appetite towards equities, I don't think you're going to see a dramatic impact. And don't forget, I mean, today we've got non-fund payrolls out as well, so that's going to play a role in terms of how much money is actually at play and how, how aggressive people are going to be buying into the market sure. today. Uh, ADP was good yesterday. What are you expecting on the payrolls and what could actually shift the market? Yeah, ADP was extremely good, and so that's increased a bit of uh, positivity towards what we could get from a payrolls. I always worry about that because then artificially it makes the, m the market expecting even better. We're looking around 150,000 in terms of non-farm payrolls, private payrolls, probably around the same level, and the unemployment rate staying flat at 7.7%. If we do get a better number, then that should certainly kid, uh, give uh, equities another lift as well. All right, I want to finish up with the, with the uh, cover of The Economist. I don't know if you've seen the latest cover. We're going to put it up here. Picture of uh, Boehner, the House Speaker, with his lederhosen on. Uh, clearly a German. Uh, we've got Obama with a beret, a French beret on, uh, with a couple of baguettes there. Uh, they're making this comparison, troubling similarities between the fiscal mismanagement in D.C. and the mess in the Eurozone. Uh, political incompetence, I think, uh, seems to be the, the, the main thing. Do you buy this, this comparison? I do, absolutely. I think they've got it nailed on, really. I always worry when politics gets involved in economics and fiscal policy, and unfortunately it's one of those things that we're just going to have to get used to with the U.S. We saw it, obviously, in 2011 when they first tried to raise the debt ceiling, of course. We've seen it again now, and I worry we'll see it again in February when they look to raise the debt ceiling again.